It's significant that we choose the first Saturday of the year for the Rathi Atra. Although, according to the scriptures, Rathi Atra is held usually in somewhere in the middle of the year. But here in Kuala Lumpur, at least in Brickfields, our Rathi Atra takes place on the first Saturday of the year. And it, it serves a purpose. It's like a wake-up call for everyone to remind them of their spiritual responsibilities. Having achieved the rare human body, we don't want to waste it. It's a great blessing to have the human form of life. From the Vedic literature, we learn that there are 8,400,000 different species of life and only 400,000 species are human species. So we're blessed to have the human form of life. But we want to make proper use of the human form of life. And we often find in the modern times that people abuse the human form of life rather than use it for the real purpose. The ultimate purpose of human life is self-realization, coming to understand our actual spiritual identity. Instead, people are busy in particularly living in a modern city like Kuala Lumpur, we see everywhere high-rise buildings, condominiums, and so many uh, modern amenities for people. But in the course of the economic development, we often find that the real purpose of human life is forgotten. We see everyone in Malaysia driving cars. It's because Malaysia is very successful in that sense. That I, I think there's very few countries in the world where so many people, so big, big percentage of the population have their own transportation in the form of motor cars and motorbikes. But we have to consider it, it is not just having facilities and having amenities which make our human life successful. Now we have the human body and if we don't use the human body for the real purpose of life, then in the next life we do not know what our destination will be. I had the good fortune to meet the founder Acharya of the Krishna Consciousness Movement and I took shelter of him and received initiation from him more than 50 years ago in London. At that time, Srila Prabhupada, as we referred to him, he told us, he said, people are very fond of running on four wheels. But he said, the dog also runs on four legs. And the business of the dog is not much different from the business of most of the people today. They're simply busy eating and sleeping, mating and defending. That is animal life. But human life is meant for more than just the animal propensities. Human life is meant for self-realization. 
and it begins with an awakening in the Shrapi Acha festival which we had today. This is like a wake-up call to people everywhere, particularly here in Brickfields, which we commonly refer to as Little India, because there's so much, uh, there's a big percentage of the population is Indian origin, and many of the shops are also of Indian style. So Little India, India, we would just used to be called Punyabhumi, the pious land. But I think nowadays it wouldn't be correct to refer to India like that because it's no longer the same. Rather, it has become blinded by economic development. And in the pursuit of economic development, they have forgotten the goal of life, they have left behind the culture. So this Krishna conscious movement serves a very important purpose in awakening people to the goal of life and help them to remember the value of spiritual culture. This is Krishna consciousness. And the Shrapi Atra festival serves this purpose that we want people to make the best use of the human life. If we have a human body now, or in the next life, we become a dog or a tree, it is not a great credit to us. So we want to make the best use of this human life, and we get the maximum benefit in the association of Krishna conscious devotees. The Krishna Consciousness Movement emphasizes the importance of spirituality in our life. Not just simply the pursuit of the goals of material life, economic development and sense gratification. Rather, we want to understand the higher pursuit of human life, to understand ourselves as spiritual beings, and our eternal relationship with the Supreme. Rati Atra Festival helps to awaken people and to bring people in contact with this Krishna Consciousness Movement. It's a very successful propaganda program which is incorporated here. And we have celebrated, we celebrate this festival in many cities here in Malaysia. Just last week, just a few days back, we had a very nice Rati Andra on the New Year's Day in the city of Melaka. And we had a, a large crowd of devotees also assemble and take part. This Rati Andra festival has become a major street festival throughout the world through the Krishna Consciousness Movement. And as I said, the purpose is to awaken people, to understand more of the goal of human life. So anyone who has an interest in know more, we have many books and we have also our centers. Here in Kuala Lumpur, we have a very nice center over in just near to Overseas United Gardens in, uh, off the Old Klang Road. And there are regular programs there every morning. We have lectures and Shamat Bhagavatam. Throughout the week, there's a number of lectures and discourses given on Shastras. And everyone is invited to attend. Everything is free of charge. So it's not a business. It's a very important spiritual organization presenting a very deep and profound spiritual message which can give us the greatest benefit to this human life. So please take the opportunity to find out more about the Krishna Consciousness Movement and, if you, and please come and try and attend. 
We will look forward to meeting you. Thank you very much. Shula Prabhupada Ki, Jagannath Baladev Subhadra Ki, Sri Jagannath Maha Mahotsava Ki. Thank you, His Holiness. Bhakti Jagannath Shri Maharaj for starting out the first spiritual discourse. Maharaj reminded us in spite of the concrete jungle that we are surrounded with, let us not forget the goal, the real goal of life. Mika Nandri Bhakti Vikna Vinash Narshika Maharaj Avargale. So Maharaj, uh, in the 